Hello. Now let's work on Facebook and let's understand how Facebook works. Uh, hi. Let's see. Um, the first thing, remember the word actions, so let's focus on actions. The first A will be avatar. So that means your update, your uh, profile picture. As you see, it is a little different than the picture I have here. So that will be your avatar. Then the C is the cover. And this is the cover of my Facebook that I did it with a software called Page Modo. And I want to go over to that software. Very nice, very useful, and it's free. Uh, that you can create, you know, something about you. Could be just a picture, or can, could be also, you know, like in this case, I decided to put my name, a little bit about me, and my tagline. So I already jumped in my tagline and my website at the same time. Okay, so I want to focus on that. Uh, go to pagemodel.com. And let me show you how to do this um, cover. So once you are in page, once you are in pagemodel.com, they will ask you to connect with Facebook. So you will click here, and it will ask you some questions. It takes some time. Sometimes it's fast, but sometimes it's oh, here it is, very fast. So uh, immediately connect with your Facebook page. And they have too many things. You can put a post as a designer. Instead of posting words, you can actually post a picture, a very nice picture. Uh, but I want to focus on the cover page. So you click here in cover photo, and you will see how beautiful they have all these uh, designs. I love it. I like it a lot. Uh, here it is. So this is the design I choose for my website. I put my picture and I decided to put this, but you because I choose select this model. You see this model here, uh, but you can select whatever model you want. Look at this one. You see, you can put several pictures of different activities that you do it. You can change the word here. Uh, you can have this background, etc. So you can actually pick anything. You see how pretty they are? So I really want, I really looking forward for see what you will come up. Now here you can put, again, you can change here with a picture. You can change this, you see? You can change the photo. Uh, let me just upload a photo. Here it is. And you can put your username, your tagline, or whatever. That will be your page. Uh, you can save or you can publish. And when you publish, you go directly to um, go directly to Facebook. So that's very cool, right? And you can also download the image if you like it so much. So let's suppose I want to put here. You can write here. And then you can, the same thing like any text, you see it's overlapping, so I can go here and reduce the size. And then I can change this. Like that, okay. And then you can move these things around if you want. You see how easy it is? Set attention, you go here and put an individual. Okay. Well, I have new color if I want to change it. See? And then again, you can save it. I don't know how many drafts you can have. Let's see. So now I have this one. I suppose I like it so much, I can actually. Download it. So I can use it for other profiles. So right now I download it here. I will keep it in some place. So maybe I want to use it that for you know my Google Plus or something else. 
And then if you like it, you can publish and they will do it for you. And that's exactly what I did when I have my Facebook here. Okay, so now you have a beautiful uh, cover. You have your picture. Uh, you have the tagline. I put my best recognition is my student success. That's my tagline. Uh, so ACT, let's go to information of other links. Now, if you are in Facebook, you can click on update info. And then here is when you add the information. Place you leave, all the information you see, based relationship. Suppose I want to add here. I didn't put um, Boston, so let me just put here. Uh, Boston. You know, I can put here Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. And when I leave, I can put, you know, wherever I was at 2001, uh, etc. And then you know, I can put a picture if I want. You see? Uh, contact basic info. I decided to have my cell phone, but not everybody can see it. Only me. If I want to people to call me, I probably will put um, my friends or somebody. Uh, I feel more comfortable when people can contact with my email. So if somebody wants to contact, they can go to my website that is here. And they can contact me, or they also can you know, text me from that. Have my Skype, my Yahoo Messenger, and my Twitter. So you have my other accounts. And uh, so I was explaining to you that it's important to put all the accounts so people can contact you. So I want to add um, another account. So I can click here. And I want to add, for example, my LinkedIn. I don't have Instagram. Uh, that's weird, but I don't have it. I can have my Twitter, Snapchat, which you see, uh, Skype, they give you all these options. Or you can add your LinkedIn profile. So, um, so I will try to add my LinkedIn profile. I just noticed, I put add another account, and I just noticed that they do not have LinkedIn as a part of the list. So I put all the services, and here I will copy my address, my linked address. Here it is, and then I just save it. Okay, so now it's my linked address. You have public profiles here, so I can go here and fix it. Okay, now it looks better. Good. Okay, so that's my timeline. Now let's talk about um, something that is very important. So now we do that. It's about um, privacy settings. If you click here, you will have privacy settings. And then you can decide who will contact you, how to stop if somebody bother me, etc. And then you can visit privacy settings. And you will have a lot of information on how to deal with this situation. So if you are here, you click here, and then you can have privacy checkup, or you can hit see more settings. I will go to see more settings. And then here you can see who can see your post, your friends, and you can change it here. Edit. And you can create your groups, your friends, the public. I have, for example, people who live in Sofo, people who live in my my uh, colleagues from the University of Lima, my family, maybe there are things that I only want my family to see. So you have that option, who will see your post. So right now I have my friends, I'm fine with that. I don't want other people to see it. Who can contact me, everyone? You Again, you can restrict this, and they say, I only contact friends of friends, you know? Or you can pick everyone. I put everyone because I decided the date if I want to accept it or not. You can also block people if you want. Uh, you can you can notify. You can receive text messages if you want. It's time somebody write it, you can receive it. I would recommend that would be too much, but I receive it in Facebook only. 
So you can here make your decisions what you want to do in the privacy sessions. So we have the cover the links and the now how do you create your own URL? 